Solemn images of soldiers in any weather, 365 days a year guarding the tomb and casket of the unknown soldier are part of the fabric of Washington, D.C. life. But the everlasting vigil began before the casket arrived at Arlington Cemetery. From the moment the casket was carried aboard USS Olympia in October of 1921 for the voyage back to the United States, a Marine honor guard and sailors from the ship's crew stood the watch. As Olympia Captain H.L. Wyman ordered Marine Captain Graves B. Erskine to maintain his honor guard around the clock. The people of La Havre, France showed their respect for the unknown soldier at the departure ceremony and placed white roses atop the casket. Roses that would accompany this soldier home. The casket, too large to fit in the passageways of a ship, was lashed to the deck above the aft gun. The ship's log tells the story of that voyage. Barometer falling. Sea state four and rising. The ship sailed for two weeks through the rough seas of that year's hurricane number six, the Tampa Bay hurricane. The ship endured 20 to 30 foot swells. the fellow down with everything we could tie on him. Many times the waves would go up to the bridge and in the wardroom. We had at least four inches of water most of the time. We had some very rough weather coming home. There were times we thought we might not make it home. While the honor guard toiled on the deck in the waves, the powder monkeys risked being scalded as they were thrown near the hot boilers and furnaces. Keeping the boiler stoked with coal was vital to the ship's survival in the rough seas. Cross waves sporadically colliding with the ship's sides were the biggest threat to Olympia capsizing, resulting in the loss of the unknown remains and the crew. The ship rolled 39 degrees. Captain Erskine had the Marine Guard lashed to the rails to prevent their being swept overboard. I began to feel sorry for myself, having to stand there in such a small area with the wind and rain pelting me in the face. But my sorry self didn't last long. I soon realized that what I was doing was little enough compared to what the unknown soldier had done. The continued storm and dangerous conditions aboard ship prompted Captain Wyman to have Chaplain Edward Duff assemble all those not on watch for a prayer service in the ship's mess. Olympia sailed out of the rough seas and into the Chesapeake on November 7, 1921, and arrived at Pier 3 of the Washington Navy Yard at 1600 on November 9th. God was with the ship and that he was watching over the crew because a grateful nation was awaiting the ship that carried the unknown soldier. 